Hi and welcome to another video for the channel. On this video we're basically comparing the previous cyberpunk videos from 2022 and 2023 versus the Ubuntu 2404 improvements performance on top of the Proton, DXBK, VKD3D and NVIDIA drivers that have changed over the past year. Okay, and All the improvements for gaming over the past year. Note that when I actually started testing Cyberpunk, um, I do recall that, and you can see the video on the channel, that um, we were getting between 30 to 48 FPS at 1080. At 1080. We're going to be testing right now what we'll be getting at 4K a year later. Okay? For this particular test, I won't be enabling the LSS. I want to, like, heavily benchmark the the performance without relying on DLSS because you know that if I enable that we'll we'll be getting three to five times better performance. So we're gonna do like a raw test. So here's um, 4K. Um, you can see that we have NVIDIA Reflex enabled now. Uh, it wasn't a year ago. HDR mode's not yet um, an option. It looks like it will be at the end of 2024. Go to the graphics, you can see that um, we don't have DLSS frame regeneration enabled yet. And when I did the test, um, and also resolution scaling, that's it. I don't want to enable DLSS, I want to see the raw performance of the video card. So before, you see ray tracing here, path tracing is not enabled. But when we did the 1080 test a year ago, and you can see everything full here, uh, we didn't have ray tracing. So it was... Um, Cyberpunk at 1080 without ray tracing running at between 30 to 48 FPS at 1080. Now we've enabled ray tracing, everything full. What do you want? And you can see more or less here that we're getting 30, 30 FPS, more or less, at that same 4K without DLSS. Very important that part. If I enable DLSS, um, if you saw my previous video, we'll be jumping to hundred and something FPS, 80, 90 FPS. Right now we're doing, again, a very hardcore um, benchmark to the 4090 on Ubuntu 2404. So we're getting that 30 something FPS, 4K, recording at the same time, remember? So when I'm recording, we lose a couple of FPS there. Yeah, 30 something, we can say that. Um, so basically compared to a year ago, the improvement is multiple times. So we're talking more than, than five times the, the, the performance comparing 1080, okay, without ray tracing, 1080 without ray tracing, um, yeah, and with all the options that could be enabled at that moment versus that by the way on that the 1080 i was getting again 30 something to maximum of 48 fps versus right now 4k 4k recording at 60 fps by the way um we're getting around 30 fps 4k with ray tracing and especially this without the lss if I enable DLSS, just multiply the damn thing by between three to five times, whatever we're getting. Um, because remember, DLSS is just a, a trick to boost your FPS by a lot. But we don't want to do that for this video. I just want to show the raw um, performance of the actual game. Photo mode. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. Okay, we're still getting around 30 something FPS. You can see the GPU usage. You can see the CPU usage. Another factor that we can see on Ubuntu 2404 is the CPU, um, let's say, management. So it jumped. I recall that I had to do some tweaks on the year 2022 when the when the 13900K came out, because basically Ubuntu came out a week after 
all this uh, hardware came out that I'm using. More or less six months later, I still had to do some tweaks here and there, and with the improvements over the, the last kernel versions, plus some optimizations that the Ubuntu team has been doing, um, I really appreciate not only the performance impact for the CPU that we'll be addressing in later videos, but the temperature management and not, not just throttling, but um, like low balancing between the, the cores and the threads. It's, it's many times better. I don't even need Conquer, the, the CPU frequency management here. I just, it's a lot, multiple times better. Let's put it like that. Ah, so it's like a, like a decoy, this thing. Anyway, well, okay. Um, we're going to be testing you okay? We're going to be we're going to be testing the Witcher uh, now so we can also benchmark that game um, on the Witcher just in case we on previous videos we actually did a um, a direct x11 test and a direct 12 test so on the direct 11 test i believe we're getting can't recall but i know that there's a boost here so let's just you can select the direct 12 there or something okay let's wait for the caching to to happen okay there we go so compared to the previous video, we are getting a boost. We are getting a boost here of um, of FPS. I think it's the double, something like that. Double a little bit more, like 50% to double the the FPS for DirectX 11 compared to my previous video. Testing that that same Direct X11, and you'll see that it's Direct X11. I normally check the water, so the water has this weird painting effect. You can see the water is like paint, painted. I don't know if when I upload this video on YouTube, you'll be able to notice that specific thing. But if you have your Witcher with you and you put it on Direct X11, the water is like oily, like um. Like this painting of the night kind of thing. This close to the village. Um, I thought exactly. The forest and the performance is around, yeah. It's it's a little bit better than than Corpses everywhere. The on the the previous Ubuntu. Let's get out of here. Let's jump some. Yeah, we're getting. Again, this is 4K. Everything, absolutely everything, is full now, uh, with the exception of uh, the hair hair works or hair the hair thing that moves the hair it's just stupid um but you can see the performance and i don't know if you can notice on this video i can actually notice it whoops um that the the graphics they just look better really i just punched the, the cow thing really okay yeah need to get out of that nightmare well you can see that well yeah okay there you go you can see that the, the the game, if you compare it to the previous Ubuntu, it just looks much, much better. Visually speaking, uh, the the first game that I noticed was Kingdom Come uh, Deliverance. That actually confused me a lot, because when the game opened, I was so used to the previous um, graphics or the look of the graphics that the new one was at least for my eyes was too much it was like th there's some parts of the game that were way too real so it was a little bit confusing to adapt to that at least me that i'm used to you know 8-bit games and just another genre of of games okay i'm not used to seeing the games way too pretty and on 2404 you'll end up appreciating that if you play before so the games just look 
much much better i don't know what happened i don't know if it's nvidia related mesa related ubuntu 2404 with the secrets of the optimizations that the developers do whatever okay so okay let me just click here let's select direct x12 and let's compare compare direct x12 if you recall my previous video with the witcher 3 uh, we were getting, I think we were getting 30 something FPS or around that, um, on that same area, on the same, on the, the first, um, town. We're going to be basically testing the same, the same area. Uh, let me show you here the, um, the settings for the video. Okay. So here you, you, we, before we didn't have ray tracing before, like a year ago. Now you can see everything is enabled, with the exception of the hair works crap, okay? So everything is enabled, we're not using the LSS or whatever, no, no, no. begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking yeah, his Geralt. lover of yore. The sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now, but now she seen just a few steps, steps ahead. ahead. So we're testing the raw performance. Basically this video is killing the performance there so let's say let's see we're getting a something versus a 40 or 30 that we were getting before something like that I can recall the water I don't know if on the video you'll be able to see that but the water just looks much more real and with the ray tracing effect you can see that the, the trees in the water and just everything looks I, I gotta play this game again that, that's all I'm saying like what the hell? With the whole thing changed. I can play on Direct X12 now. Great performance. So, the Griffin is close the graphics to the village. are just like a strange. I mean, like great job. Exactly. In the forest of the mountains. Uh, we're getting sure, around 70 here, something, 60 the there, 70 road. again, almost war. 80. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood. Let me get out of here. Oops. Monsters Sorry, crazy kid. sometimes. Men too. We need to watch ourselves at White Orchard. Okay, something there. We should leave as soon as we get it. Ninety something there. Basically, an average of, I would say, seventy. Okay, so at 4K, everything full on Direct X12, we're still getting much more above 60 FPS, which is what I'm recording right now. You can see the CPU management, the GPU mas management has improved from last uh, version. They could have sewed his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. There's like a secret that if you kill many uh, cows, like a cow, some god of cows comes out or something. Yeah, you can see your reflections there on the water. Look at that. That looks like a movie too. Yeah, just beautiful. Look at the water. Hopefully, when I upload this to YouTube, you'll be able to appreciate the same quality. Okay, so. Yeah, every time I log out. Oh, well, if you press out F4, it just it crashes the game for that part. So hopefully you appreciate the video. It was helpful, and you can see the improvements on Ubuntu 2404.